Hey, good morning, everybody. So today we wanted to talk about the ketogenic diet. Uh, it seems to be all the rage. People are writing about it. It's overtaken paleo as the most searched uh, word in terms of diet or nutrition. And there's just ketone supplements everywhere. Uh, it works just hopped on the keto train with a keto line of it works keto coffee, which is essentially uh, powdered MCT oil uh, with some other dairy stuff in it. It's like bulletproof coffee. Um, one of the products I use, Keto Cream, uh, is very similar. It's the one of the biggest differentiators in that is that it has AC11, which helps repair some DNA and. Uh, but there's, you know, perfect keto is out there, beta hydroxy butyrate. So there's, there's, with this popularity comes a lot of confusion. Um, and I see it daily in a lot of my keto groups is they read an article or they see that uh, Kimmy Kardashian dropped 75 pounds on a ketogenic diet. And when they read the article, it starts off with it being a low carb, high fat diet. And they go in to talk about uh, eating a lot of fat. So there's this, there's been this misconception that the ketogenic diet is a high fat diet. Well, it's not. The ketogenic diet is a diet that uses carbohydrate restrictions down to a certain amount to uh, kind of reduce and deplete. Uh, I don't want to use the word deplete because your liver is always going to have some uh, glycogen in it or glucose. So it um, reduces your your uh, glucose levels in your sugar so much to where now your liver has to start producing ketones for energy. Um, and ketone bodies come from fatty acids, uh, from the, the breakdown of that. So <clears throat> it, I, you can see where that misconception comes of, well, your body needs fat to produce these ketone bodies and they leave out the part where if we eat fat our body's going to use that fat first before we use our stored fat because in the grand scheme of things um i'm not sure what they teach in health class anymore but from my uh health classes going through high school some of my nutrition classes in college and some of my personal trainers uh information including my sports nutrition stuff is that when we eat fuel you know if we don't use the fuel our body's going to store it as fat later well that that fat that's stored as fuel that's like last resort that that's where our body turns to as a very last resort for energy so if we're eating large amounts of carbohydrate large amounts of fat then our body is going to use what we eat first. That's just how we are designed. So we need to hack our body to force it to use those fat stores for energy. And how do we do that? First, we restrict carbohydrates so that our body has to produce ketones. Um, next is we need to restrict fat because uh, if we're eating fat, we're not going to use our stored fat. So in order for our body to use the stored fat, we need to restrict our dietary fat because <clears throat> that's where our fatty acids are going to come from. Now, protein. Protein is where you have people that say moderate fat. There's people that say higher fat. And they're both correct. For the average person that doesn't do a whole lot of activity, moderate amounts of fat. Uh, sorry, moderate amounts of protein because um, protein its main source is to repair our body um, and uh, repair our body, build new muscle if needed, because maybe you started to get more active. And <clears throat> what happens is that we're providing nutrients for our body to repair itself and we're pulling from our fat stores for energy. So that's kind of in a, in a bigger scale how the ketogenic diet works. It's not a high carbo or sorry, it's not a high fat diet because if it's a high fat diet and you don't restrict those carbohydrates, you're not going to produce ketones no matter how much fat you're eating 
um, all that's going to really happen is that your insulin levels are still going to be high, your fat levels are still going to be high, and you're going to be shooting yourself in the foot if you're trying to lose weight. So what about if you don't have to lose weight? If you don't have to lose weight, then that is where you have to bring up your fat um, because you don't have a whole lot of fat to use. So now you need to start increasing those, those uh, fats through the day so that your body can create the ketones from fat. That's how it works.